and welcome back to a new tutorial on SketchUp TV. I'm Max and I will be showing you the new plugin or basically a plugin that will come out soon with the name Silverflows today and you can find it over at silverflows.com and what it does is basically to enable you to directly prototype in Sketch or to create prototypes in Sketch. All you have to do is to go to this website and to sign up to get the beta invite and you can also check out the video that is linked uh, at the top of the page. Okay, uh, I already installed the plugin and we get this little icon at the top right here. Then you have to connect your phone using Wi-Fi or using the USB connector. Um, we will have several options right here that I will explain you, to you later. And in Sketch right now we also have it installed with a just simple plugin link. I have a basic UI kit right here that we will be using for today's tutorial. And we will create uh, screen transitions between these artboards and link them together. So maybe, yeah, let's just start out. I think this will be the first screen. We have a login button right here. And all you have to do is to just go over to plugins, silver, and create a link, for example, to another artboard. Or you can also just hit the letter C, the key C, and then you can just drag and drop um, the link to the destination for example this artboard. Then we have some options right here. I want to tap the screen. This should link to the artboard and the transition could also be a push in this case. Modal. Um, what a modal is I will show it to you uh, in a second. So then we have um, the first link set up and right after that we can continue doing that to create a simple motion between these screens. So for example after uh, seeing this little tutorial or something like that let's just go over to this screen. Maybe let's try this web transition um, and from this now we could also link down to the main product page like this. Okay, so this is our menu um, and we can also say let's push in, position this a little bit to the left. So we can add a different effect that I will show you to you right now. So I just go over to the arrow right here. The arrow in this case will be our menu button. I hit C and then we drag it over to this artboard. Then we say we want it to be a modal. It should come, uh, it come in from the left and I want the background to be for example white and blurred. And let's just add this link. We can also say when we click this area right here, hit C, we just want the modal to disappear, to dismiss this modal and add the link. And I want to show you some other great things that you can do with uh, silver flows. So for example we have this amazing style artboard right here. We could make the background layer invisible or we could also delete it. And we could say that the price right here should link to this screen. Okay. So just hit C, drag it over to the screen and we can also say that this should be a modal and we want it to have a white blurred background. We also have this little arrow icon uh, in this screen which is right here and we can say let's try it with the different uh, method create a link and what we want to do is to uh, dismiss 
the modal again. You saw that we can also just say we want to go back. In this case, it's this icon. We yeah, can dismiss the modal, we can um, go to the camera, go to the photos, we can open Safari, mail, messages or the telephone app. So this is basically a quick run through of creating uh, links and transitions between these screens. Things you can also do with it are to define an initial screen. In this case it will be just the login screen. And other things is to yeah, simply edit the links that we created. In this case for example we had this arrow right here. You can click the arrow or this icon and edit it. You can also just go over to silver, edit and for example selected component and so on. You can also clear all the links that you created in your whole document if you want to get rid of all of them. And right after that, after we created these links, I will show it to you on my device, on my iPhone. Um, you will see it in a second. I would just open it on my iPhone and boom, there we have it. And right now I will be just switching over to the iPhone. Okay, so right now we are on my iPhone and this is basically the Silver Flows app. I can show it to you again. Here we open it up and we have some options on this screen. So for example at the bottom right we have a user um, profile. I think all these things right here we will be um, enhanced soon. I think there will be more options and settings and so on. And we can also um, just go into our inbox where we find um, shared prototypes or just hit this iMac display icon and there it just enables us to um, show the prototype. So when we go back to Sketch it opens up and here is the prototype that we created. So. For example, let's just hit login, then we can also say um, we can hit in any area of the artboard or on the screen and we see that the link is down at continue. So we click this here as well, click by now. And here we have this basic t-shirt um, screen, product screen. We can also do something different, I will just edit uh, the artboard in Sketch a bit, we can say that the top, which is the header, should be a header. So we just select the header in this case and I go to plugins, silver, create header. So this is basically it. Right now it's a header and you can see it in the prototype that our content is just um, scrolling below this header function. We can also say we want the header to be a little less visible. So you see it's just scrolling through it pretty nicely. As I said you can click the price to get a little overview of the current balance. And we hit the little arrow to just go back. And I also left this plot background feature in Silver Flows just amazing. We can hit the arrow right here to get to the menu and we can close it by tapping it again. So yeah, just um, to go back to your main screen is to uh, hold with two fingers. You get this little screen, you can also say we always want to show the hotspots and you can reload your flow to go back to the first screen or you can just simply exit the preview. Okay, so if you like this tutorial, and if you would like to see more prototyping tool, uh, tool videos and tutorials uh, about Sketch and other prototyping tools, just subscribe to this channel or leave me your feedback down in the comments below. So see you for the next one in a few days and goodbye.